Do you ever wonder why some pickup trucks seem to have missed the memo on style? Picture this, a vehicle that's built for hard work, rugged terrain, and hauling heavy loads, but somehow ended up looking like it got caught in a design disaster. Join us as we hop on to journey exploring the world of the 20 most ugly American pickup trucks ever made. These trucks may have the brawn, but when it comes to beauty, they seem to have taken a detour. But hey, who said utility and aesthetics have to go hand in hand? Let's begin our journey with number 20, Ford Econoline. Let's take a jaunt back to the swinging 60s when Ford decided to shake things up a bit with their mid-engine van, inspired by the trusty Ford Falcon chassis. What emerged from their creative cauldron was the Econoline truck, unleashed upon the world in 1961. Now, this truck wasn't your run-of-the-mill pickup, oh no, it had a vibe all its own, drawing inspiration from the quirky VW Type 2 pickup and boasting seats perched right atop the front axle, giving it a look reminiscent of the Jeep Forward Control. And let's not forget that grill, a cheeky nod to the Thames 400E. With a cavernous 7-foot flat loading bay courtesy of its low and central engine compartment, this truck had utility written all over it, but oh, that front heavy design. The Econoline seemed to lean forward with purpose, its diagonal teardrop headlight surrounding raising more than a few eyebrows. Next up, we have number 19, Honda Ridgeline. Bursting onto the scene in 2005, this mid-sized truck wasn't your typical pickup. Nope, it decided to share its unibody chassis with the Acura MDX and the Honda Odyssey, adding a dash of minivan flair to the mix. Equipped with all the bells and whistles you could ask for, a trunk tucked beneath the bed, a tailgate that could swing both ways, not like that and even an optional DVD navigation system for those who wanted to get lost in style, it seemed like a winning recipe. But despite the efforts of a 37-member dream team from Honda Research and Development, led by the illustrious Gary Flint, this truck just couldn't shake off its unconventional looks. With its car-like features, it ended up in a strange no-man's land between car and truck, leaving onlookers scratching their heads in confusion. The first generation called it quits in 2014, only to make a somewhat improved comeback in 2017 with its second generation. Next on our not-so-glamorous list is number 18, Chevrolet Avalanche. Back in 2002, GM unleashed the beast upon the masses, hoping to shake up the truck game. Despite snagging a nomination for North American Truck of the Year in 2003, the Avalanche quickly earned a reputation for its, well, let's call it, unique design. It was a mishmash of suburban SUV and Silverado pickup truck elements tossed together like a salad gone wrong. A vehicle that looked like it couldn't decide whether it wanted to be an SUV or a pickup truck when it grew up. Its rear end, in particular, seemed to suffer from an identity crisis, with a bulky disjointed structure that left onlookers scratching their heads. But hey, it wasn't all bad news. The Avalanche did come packed with some nifty features like its mid-gate system that allowed extra cargo space a feature that's even made a comeback in the Silverado 1500 EV. Let's take a trip down memory lane to 1962 for our number 17 Dodge Rampage. A compact truck that's so unforgettable, it'll stick in your mind like peanut butter on toast. Chrysler thought they'd join the compact truck party with their answer to the VW Rabbit sport truck and thus, the Rampage was born. Built on Chrysler's trusty front-wheel drive L-body platform, the same one found under the hood of the Omni Horizon and even sporty coupes like the Dodge Charger. This truck had some serious pedigree. Even the legendary Carroll Shelby gave it a nod of approval, cooking up plans for a high-performance version. Underneath the hood lurked a feisty 2.2-liter overhead valve four-cylinder engine, eager to hit the road with its front-wheel drive prowess. But let's be honest, while the Rampage had some mechanical chops, its exterior left something to be desired. Those headlights, grills, and bumper? Let's just say that they bore a striking resemblance to a vacuum cleaner and don't even get us started on the asymmetrical hood. Talk about a design choice that missed the mark. As for the rear end, well, let's just say it was about as forgettable as yesterday's news. But don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Next up on our list of oddballs is the number 16 Cadillac Mirage, the car-truck hybrid that's sure to turn heads for all the wrong reasons. Back in 75, Cadillac rolled out the Mirage, a hybrid based on the DeVille that aimed to capture the hearts of those who wanted a little bit of both worlds, the practicality of a truck and the sophistication of a Cadillac. And while the Caribou may have beaten it to the punch a few years prior, 
the Mirage had its own unique charm, courtesy of traditional coachworks. Now, here's where things get interesting. Despite not having the official stamp of approval from GM, these Mirage beasts still found their way onto the Cadillac dealership lots, ready to charm unsuspecting buyers with their blend of work and church appeal. But let's be real, folks. If you wanted to roll in style with a Mirage, you had to be willing to break the bank, as it would set you back almost twice the price of a regular Coupe de Ville. But hey, that didn't deter daredevil extraordinaire Evil Knievel from snagging the very first one, because who needs logic when you've got style, right? Next up is number 15 Dodge Ram 1500 Daytona Shorty, a truck that tried to channel the spirit of the Charger Daytona 69 but ended up in a comedy of errors. Now, we get it, there's a certain charm to a Shorty truck, but the Ram Daytona took things to a whole new level. Picture this, a regular cab, short bed Ram that looks like it's been pumped full of steroids and sent straight from the future. With its oversized front end, stubby rear, side exit exhaust that scream look at me, and a spoiler that could give a Subaru WRX STI a run for its money, this truck was like something out of a cartoon. Speaking of horsepower, the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 under the hood packed a punch, churning out 345 horses and 375 foot-pounds of torque. And because this truck was relatively compact, it was a blast to drive, if you didn't mind sacrificing a bit of practicality along the way. Sure, the Ram Daytona may not have been the prettiest truck on the block, but it sure knew how to have a good time. Number 14. Chevrolet SSR In 2003, GM decided to unleash the Chevrolet SSR upon the world, a truck that left us scratching our heads and wondering, what were they thinking? A single cab convertible pickup truck with a power operating hardtop roof, retro styling straight out of the 1940s, and about as much practicality as a chocolate teapot. Sure, on paper, the SSR seemed like a match in heaven, blending retro aesthetics with modern performance courtesy of the LS2 V8 engine churning out a hefty 390 horses. But let's be real here. Who in their right mind thought a convertible pickup truck was a good idea? And as if that wasn't enough, the SSR's styling, inspired by 1940s Chevy pickups, was about as appealing as a flat tire. With a price tag hovering around $42,000 and about as much practicality as a screen door on a submarine, it's no wonder the SSR was more of a niche, high-priced toy than a utilitarian workhorse. Sure, it had a weatherproof cargo area, but when you're driving around in what essentially amounts to a novelty vehicle, practicality tends to take a back seat. The next destination on our wild ride in the land of automotive oddities is number 13 Ford Sky Ranger, a convertible pickup truck that's so outlandish it makes your head spin faster than a tire on gravel. Crafted by the masterminds of the American Sunroof Company, these Sky Rangers somehow managed to find homes, though we can only imagine the reactions of passersby when they laid their eyes on them. Picture this. A removable fabric roof stretched over a single row cab topped off with an angled rollover hoop and adorned with Sky Ranger stripes and a rear wing that's as garish as they come. It's a sight to behold, folks, and not necessarily in a good way. As for how many of these peculiar pickups are still roaming on the streets today, well, that's anyone's guess. But one thing's for sure, with its eye-catching design and questionable aesthetic choices, the Sky Ranger earns itself a top spot on the list of contenders for the title of the ugliest pickup truck of them all. Strap in, folks, because we're about to take a ride in the number 12 Chevy 6400, a true unsung hero of off-roading that's more than just a pretty face, a 54 Chevy 6400 series heavy-duty commercial rig with a history as a town plow before being reborn as the ultimate off-road machine. This old girl ain't afraid to get her hands dirty, with a Coleman conversion four-wheel drive and a stock four-speed tranny with PTO to tackle any terrain that dares to stand in her way. This truck ain't your average run-of-the-mill truck, oh no. It's a force to be reckoned with, boasting a 12-point roll cage, four-point harness, and enough Detroit iron to make even the toughest terrain think twice. Talking about toughness, how hard could it be to like this video and subscribe to our channel? Not that tough, right? Number 11. Chevy 2500 Suburban Ah, the mighty 2500 Suburbans, once a staple on American roads, now a rarity that's as elusive as it is desirable. These heavy-duty beasts have seen their sales dwindle since the late 1990s, slowly but surely fading into obscurity. 
The writing was on the wall for the 2500 Suburbans, and by the time the GMT 900 generation rolled around, it was clear that the end was near. With 2013 marking the final year for the 2500 Suburban and 2014 bidding adieu to the 2500 Yukon XL, it was the end of the year for these oversized behemoths. Sure, they may have been gas guzzlers with a penchant for devouring pavement, but there was something undeniably appealing about their sheer size and brute force. And as their numbers dwindled, their desirability only seemed to grow. After all, who doesn't love a good underdog story? Number 10. Chevy Silverado While there's no denying the Silverado's sheer power and capability when it comes to towing, hauling, and off-roading, there's one glaring issue that's impossible to ignore. It's downright ugly. Seriously, folks, the 2020 Silverado HD has a face only a mother could love, and even she had some reservations. It's like Chevy took two designers with completely opposing visions and forced them to compromise, resulting in a mishmash of conflicting ideas that nobody asked for. With its jarring lines and awkward proportions, this truck looks like it was slapped together in a hurry, with no regard for aesthetics or a cohesive design. It's the kind of truck that you'd expect to see in a nightmare, not on the showroom floor. And yet, despite its questionable appearance, General Motors is hell-bent on trying to sell this thing. Because, hey, money talks, right? But let's be real here. Even the most die-hard Chevy fans would have a hard time defending this eyesore. Number 9. Jeep J20 Jeep J20, a truck that had the ruggedness of a warrior, but the looks that could make a grown man cry. Debuting in 1974 as a variant of the Jeep J series, the J20 was meant to be a powerhouse, but let's just say it didn't win any beauty contests. With its bulky frame and boxy design, the J20 wasn't exactly easy on the eyes. The proportions seemed all wrong, with a front end that looked like it was squinting in confusion and a rear end that seemed to sag under the weight of its own awkwardness. And don't even get us started on the grill. It resembled something out of a nightmare with its haphazard arrangement of headlights and grill bars that seemed to be competing for attention. Sure, under the hood, you had your choice of potent V8 engines, but no amount of horsepower could detract you from the fact that this truck was about as aesthetically pleasing as a sack of potatoes. In the end, production of the Jeep J20 soldiered on until 1988, but it's safe to say that its legacy will be remembered more for its brawn than its beauty. Number 8. Dodge Ram SRT10 If you've ever wondered what happens when you stuff a massive engine into a truck and give it free rein, well, wonder no more, because the SRT10 is here to show you with its V10 Viper engine roaring under the hood, the SRT-10 is like a beast unleashed, going from zero to hold on tight in the blink of an eye. Seriously, folks, this truck doesn't just drive. It commands the road with a presence that's hard to ignore. And let's not forget about the short stature and big grill. And let's not forget about its two features that may have turned off a few customers. But hey, who needs subtlety when you've got horsepower to spare? But as they say, sometimes things don't go according to plan. Despite its impressive performance and undeniable swagger, the SRT-10 was ultimately cancelled, leaving behind a legacy that is as short-lived as it is unforgettable. But hey, even though the SRT-10 may have left the stage sooner than expected, its impact on the world of high-performance trucks is undeniable. Number 7. Ford Bronco A vehicle that's as infamous for its quirks as it is for its off-road prowess. Produced for a staggering 30 years from 1966 to 1996, the Bronco has somehow managed to grow in popularity despite its, shall we say, less than attractive design. You see, all Broncos were churned out as 4x4s, but their peculiar aesthetics left much to be desired. With tall front fenders and rear wheel openings that resembled something out of a funhouse mirror, there wasn't a whole lot of room for tires taller than 30 inches. And let's not even get started on the awkward proportions and boxy frame that made it look like it was designed by the committee. Sure, you could try to jazz it up with larger tires and wider wheels, but that usually meant resorting to the easiest modification in the book, trimming the rear openings. And while the aftermarket may offer uncut rear quarter panels now, there's a certain charm in finding an original Bronco that remains uncut. After all, they say they are only original ones, but in the case of the Bronco, that might be a blessing in disguise. Number 6. GMC 1000 Series Let's take a trip back in time to an era of the dinosaurs. Well, not quite, but close enough. Feast your eyes on the 1961 GMC 1000 Series, a truck that's been around for what feels like an eternity, 
with a design that, well, let's just say it's not winning any beauty contests. With its flat roof, low riding body, disproportionately smaller wheels, boxy frame, and that grille that looks like it belongs on an old man's irritated puckered brow, the 1961 GMC 1000 series may not be winning any awards for its looks, but hey, who needs flashy when you got character, right? Sure, the truck may not have all the bells and whistles of modern trucks, but what it lacks in amenities, it more than makes up for in personality. Whether you're cruising down the highway or tackling tough terrain, the 1961 GMC 1000 series is sure to turn heads, if only because people can't quite believe what they're seeing. But believe it or not, your like and subscribe means a lot to us, so hit that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Number 5. Rin Speed Tattoo.com a pickup truck with a web address for a name? Because why not? Crafted by the Swiss wizards at Rinspeed for the Geneva Motor Show, this concept was a true testament to the wacky wonders of the new millennium. Now, you may be wondering about that name, Tattoo.com. Well, hold on to your hats because it's about to get even crazier. Rumor has it that the name was a cheeky nod to the erotic appeal of the human body, with the three O's paying homage to the three zeros in the year 2000. Talk about thinking outside the box, right? But the madness doesn't stop there. Oh no. The tattoo was dubbed a multi-utility vehicle, MUV, and boy did it live up to the title. With a design that's part retro, part space age, and all kinds of art deco, this truck was a mishmash of styles that somehow worked, if you were into that sort of thing, that is. But perhaps the piece de resistance on this wild ride was the breathing observation bubble nestled in the bed, affectionately known as Bob. Because what's a pickup truck without a bubble in the back, right? And believe it or not, this masterpiece was fully street legal, like we said, wild. So if you ever find yourself longing for the glory days of the early 2000s, just remember the Rinspeed Tattoo, a true icon of its time. Number 4. GMC Top Kick A beast of a truck that's as beefy as it is... Well, let's just say it's an acquired taste. The Top Kick and its sibling, the Kodiak, are like the giants of the road, towering over everything in their path with a presence that's hard to ignore. But don't let their beefy exterior fool you, because when it comes to comfort, well, let's just say that they've got some quirks. Now, if you're brave enough to climb into the Top Kick's so high cabin, you'll be greeted with steps to help you make the ascent. But once you're up there, be prepared for a ride that's anything but smooth sailing. Rumor has it that this monster truck shakes its occupants mercilessly when unloaded, leaving you feeling like you're riding a bucking Bronco instead of a truck. And let's not forget about the backseat compartment, a space that's so upright you'll feel like you're sitting in a rocket ship ready for takeoff. Stability? Well, let's just say it's not exactly the top kick strong suit. But hey, beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, right? And some may turn up their noses at the sight of a top kick. Others will be willing to brave the ride for the sheer thrill of it all. Number 3. Chevrolet K10 Snow Chaser A special edition produced by General Motors, the Snow Chaser is like the unicorn of pickup trucks. Highly sought after, incredibly rare, and according to some, not the most easy on the eyes. Now, before you start scratching your heads in confusion, let's get one thing straight. The Snow Chaser may not be everyone's cup of tea, but it's certainly got its own unique charm. With its classic stylish front end, you might be forgiven for thinking this truck is just like any other Chevy K10. That is, until you cast your eyes on the rear bed. Yep, you heard that right. Mounted rear bed that's, well, let's just say it's an acquired taste. These trucks are believed to be some of the lowest produced in numbers, and rumor has it they were only marketed in snowy states. Talk about exclusive. Next up in the world of automotive oddities is number two, Ford Explorer SUV Concept. A vehicle that's, well, let's just say it's not your average pickup truck. Picture this, a hybrid mix between a submarine and a squashed pickup truck, with design elements that are sure to turn heads wherever it goes. With its unique silhouette and unconventional features, the Explorer SUV concept is like something out of a sci-fi movie. And let's not forget about the sunshade feature that attached to the bed, because who needs a regular old truck bed when you can have a built-in sunshade, right? Number one. Chevrolet COE, a truck that's as bold as it is, well, let's just say it's got a face only a mother could love. Meet the Chevrolet COE, a truck that's gained quite the notoriety for its, shall we say, unique appearance. With its cab over engine layout, it's like the designer said, who needs legroom anyway? Let's just stick the driver right on top of the engine. 
But hey, who needs comfort when you've got a moving fortress at your command, right? Now, you might think that the designers were aiming for a sleek and compact look with the COE, but let's just say they missed the mark. Instead of making the proportion small and manageable, they ended up cramming the truck's nose to the point where it looked like it was ready to take on the world, whether the world was ready or not. From awkward proportions to questionable design choices, the 20 trucks listed here have certainly earned their place in automotive history as some of the ugliest trucks ever made. However, beauty is subjective, and what one person may see as unattractive, another may find charming or endearing. So did this video make you appreciate the quirks or cringe at their design flaws? Share in the comments, like this video, and subscribe to our channel.